Hi everybody, it's April. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been doing a lot of designing in Silhouette Studio, but it wasn't anything that I thought people might be interested in until I did this snowflake. I am on a mission. I want to have a holiday shirt for every day between now and Christmas. And I know that's going a little overboard, and I'm sure that I won't accomplish that. But as long as I have at least a new one a week, I think I'll be doing okay. And this one, actually, I could wear all winter long. So that's, that's kind of fun. So what I wanted to do was I wanted a snowflake, and then I wanted let it snow in the center of the snowflake. And how I went about this, what's special about this, first of all, let me tell you, is I want my snowflake to be in glitter and my let it snow to be flat. And you really shouldn't put flat glitter, flat heat transfer vinyl, glitter vinyl, under regular vinyl. So you can layer glitter on top of regular vinyl, but you shouldn't put regular vinyl on top of glitter. And not that you can't do it, you can do it, and if you're really careful about how you wash the shirt and dry the shirt, it would probably last for a while without lifting. I haven't, I think we've done a couple things where we've put some glitter on under some vinyl, but Technically, you're not supposed to do it. So what I did is, if you notice, the Let It Snow is cut out of the snowflake. So when I place the glitter vinyl down, I'll be able to put the Let It Snow down in the open areas of the snowflake. Therefore, I won't be layering glitter. I'm sorry, I won't be layering flat on top of glitter. So, what I did, and what I did was very simple. I went out to my design library, and the first thing I did is I looked for a snowflake. And I have just purchased a snowflake. They have all kinds of sa uh, sale. I think maybe everything's 50% off in the Silhouette Design Store. So, go check that out, especially if you've got a subscription and you've got some money that you need to spend that might be a, a good buy for you and I was gonna pick a different snowflake this time than I picked last time I'm looking let's see how about this one wow okay so these are all your snowflakes with also layers behind them. Alright, so first off, what I'm going to do is ungroup. And I didn't want this to be a really busy design. So I, um, I kind of like that one too. I think I'm going to go with that one. So I just want one snowflake and then I want the let it snow to go on top of that snowflake. So this is layered. And actually, I'm going to, I think, put them together, and we'll see if this works. So I'm going to group these two together, and the group is up here. And then I'm going to make this big, because I want it to be one big snowflake. There was a distressed snowflake, and then I don't, I don't like it to be so symmetrical, where the, where it looks like, the straight up and down. So I'm going to grab this little green bar and put it on an angle. And I want to make sure that none of my snowflake is going outside of these red cut lines. Okay, so there's my snowflake. And then I'm going to go ahead and ungroup because I want to make these different colors so I can see what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I want the background of the snowflake to be. Maybe pink. Because I want my 
let it snow to be pink. Now, what happened was my mat behind my snowflake came to the front of the image. So what I'm going to do is you right click, go down, and then send to back. And that should send my snowflake. Huh. That should send it to the back so that the other is on top. Send to back. Huh. Okay. I'm using a beta version. Either that or this. Let's try and bring this to the front. See if that... Nope. Okay. I don't know if it's beta or it's me. So anyway, I'm going to make this white because this is going to be white glitter. And there we go. Okay, so... Maybe because he was see-through, it was harder to do. Ooh, I like that. But I don't think I can put Let It Snow in pink now. That's okay. All right. So, I'm going to group these two together. So, I've got my snowflake. Now, I need my Let It Snow. So, I'm going to search for Let It Snow. And all I have to do is put Let It in it comes up. Now this is cool. Okay. This might be too busy, but you know what? Let's try it. So he's pulled in there on top of my snowflake. I'm going to move my snowflake off to the side. You know, I think that needs to be by itself. That's just going to get too busy. Oh, there's Let It Go. <laughs> and Let It Snow, Let It Snow. I'm going with this one. I think this is the same. No, actually, I think I used this Let It Snow before. So let's let's use this Let It Snow because I do like this one. All right. And it looks like it's two different pieces. So because I can click here, and that's the lower part, and click here, and that's the upper part, so I'm going to group these together so that when I resize and all that, it doesn't get messed up. I'm going to make this pink, but I don't think I'm going to leave it pink because that's just, it gets lost. So, what color should I make it? Let's try black. I think I like it. I think. I like the size. I don't think I want to make it any smaller. I like the placement of my snowflake. I'm going to center that. Uh, let's see. Let's click Let It Snow. Then I'm going to click Shift. And then click the snowflake. And click the Transform panel and center the let it snow. So here I'm aligning the center. So I click both images. I have to get my let it snow and then you can't group them together and then do the horizontal centering. So you want to click what you want to center and then you want to shift and click what you want to center it on and do the horizontal centering. Okay, so now my Let It Snow is in the middle. Now what I want to do, because my snowflake is going to be... Okay, I've changed my mind. My pink is going to be flat vinyl. My snowflake is going to be glitter. And my Let It Snow is going to be flat black. So, I'm going to be layering flat heat transfer vinyl on top of glitter vinyl. And what I want to do is I want to click the Modify panel. And hopefully this is going to work because it worked a minute ago. And sometimes I've had to play around with it. But I'm going to do like I did when I centered it horizontally. I'm going to click the Let It Snow. I'm going to hold the Shift key down. And I'm going to click my Snowflake grouping. And then I'm going to click Subtract All. Now. 
What that should do is, and it doesn't even look like it did anything, but hopefully when I move my Let It Snow, you will see how the Let It Snow is cut out of the snowflake and the snowflake background. So all I have to do is cut this out. Weeding it should be fun. Weed this properly and then when I'm pressing it, I'll press my pink layer, I'll press my white glitter layer, and then I'll put my Let It Snow in the open spots so that it won't be layered on top of glitter vinyl. And that's it. That's my, my design. And this is a shirt that I would make for myself. I couldn't make it to sell unless I purchase the commercial versions of these images in design in the silhouette design store which they may be available I'll have to go look it depends have to see if the if my peeps at work all want one then I'll have to go and and see if I can purchase the the commercial thank you for stopping by sorry it's been so long I hope this is helpful you can use this particular uh, procedure on other types of images if you plan on doing some layering and if you're using heat transfer vinyl and you want flat on top of glitter or if even if you're using paper if you don't want your layers to be thick if you want it to be a, a thinner layer then you could use this as well subscribe if you want more videos and click the like button if this was helpful to you everybody I hope you had a great holiday and I hope you are getting ready to enjoy the the holiday season bye